so hard trying to give it up knowing if I get caught, I have a way out. You're watching a scene from the movie Hush, a film that illustrates what can happen when a family keeps secrets. Kevin Cameron is screenwriter and director. Hush is a movie about a family of four uh, who they are going through uh, struggles as individual members of the family, mm -hmm. um, but as a unit that affects the family as a unit because their individual struggles or issues are um, causing friction and so the family isn't working as it should. Mm -hmm. So it, it causes some problems with the family and things uh, get out of hand until God has to intervene to bring things back together. The film chronicles a mother, father, and their two children as the secret lives they've each been living collide. First we have uh, Colin Nimlet. He plays the role of um, Marcus. He's the father. He has an issue that he's dealing with uh, at work with his, his occupation. And it's, it's causing a lot of strain on him. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is he, he likes what he's doing, um, but he knows it's wrong. Mm. Then we have his wife, Marilyn. The role is played by Chanel Morgan. And uh, she also has an issue that uh, because something tragic has happened to her, she was forced to deal with uh, that tragedy um, by using something. The son, his name is uh, Makai, and he's played by Romaine Waite. He's the guy that everybody likes. Everybody likes Makai. Uh, he's well-rounded, he's athletic, he's funny, he's, he's uh, uh, academic. Mm -hmm. Uh, good-looking, uh, but he has an issue, and uh, nobody sees that issue because he's slick with it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have his sister, um, Mitzi, who's played by uh, Melinda Kong. She's a student at Crawford Adventist Academy, and uh, she is a typical teenage girl who is struggling with just teenage issues. Mm -hmm. And like most screenwriters, Kevin admits there's a bit of himself in his characters. So which one of these characters is most like you? Well, I'm going to say Makai, but uh, Makai's issue is not my issue. Okay. <laughs> I will say that. Okay. The inspiration for the movie, he says, came when he noticed how often people, particularly people of faith, hide their problems instead of getting help. I tried to create a story that Christian people could relate to, or, or people who are not even Christians could understand that everybody has issues. But let's face it, being open isn't easy, and admitting we don't have it all together is difficult, especially in the church, says Kevin. I think it's because of the fear of what the response will be if you are transparent. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, the, maybe the church hasn't been as uh, hospitable in receiving people who are not so perfect, mm -hmm. and so people have issues with really being transparent and opening up to, to receive the help that they actually need. And when it comes to transparency, culture also plays a role. In many Caribbean, African, and Asian cultures, it's common not to air what's called your dirty laundry. And the cultural upbringing of keeping your problems to yourself is something, Kevin says, needs to stop. I know particularly the West Indian culture. That's not a culture that, that walks around um, with being open with your with your issues. Mm -hmm. You're afraid of what might happen if you actually come out and say, I'm not perfect. Um, so we have to start somewhere and the cycle can't continue. Um, it's, it's, it's a horrible thing not to have a, a, an issue and you cannot, you feel like you, there's no one you can go to to speak about it besides God. Mm -hmm. Through the film, Kevin hopes that moviegoers will not only relate to the characters, but realize that it's okay to reach out for help. You do not have to die in your issues. God wants you to know that it's okay, that you're not perfect, that perfection comes from a journey. In a journey, I don't know how many people go on journeys and always have a smooth ride. Like everybody has a story about a trip that they've been on where they've been driving and they got a flat tire or they've, they've, they're going on a hiking trip and somebody gets lost. So a journey is not always perfect, but the point is to get to your destination. Working full-time in the day as an English teacher at Crawford Adventist Academy, Kevin says shooting the feature-length movie was a feat. Logistically, it was a nightmare. <laughs> um, but it, when you have a passion for something, it's not, uh, it was a nightmare that I was, I was willingly ready to, to encompass. I had 46 people come to the, ca the casting call and uh, God was good because 
we got four amazing main characters and the rest were, were great as well. Um, it was tough because I have to teach full time. And then so I had two full time jobs for the last three months. Finding money to make a film is no easy task, but Kevin didn't have to look far to find help bringing his idea to the big screen. The funding came from the Toronto and Venice District School Board um, where I work. Supervising principal Norman Brown, he thought it was fabulous that um, I had the idea to make a film and he said, in no uncertain terms, get it done. And uh, it wasn't an issue. We put a budget together and he was like, yes, get it done. Live my life. And getting it done costs anyway, roughly $10,000. But don't let the budget fool you, it's a good film. The movie was a labor of love. All the actors agreed to work for free. And Kevin won't pocket a cent either, and that's because all proceeds from ticket and DVD sales are going directly to help pay for a new school building for the Crawford Adventist Academy, where he teaches. His students even helped write the script. I have a bunch of students who are very, very supportive. I, I teach a writer's craft class, mm -hmm. and in the process of writing, I threw some ideas out to them. And uh, we crafted and they conceptualized, and I threw uh, some some issues with them and I said does this make sense for a young person and they 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 told me certain things that don't make sense and uh, and things that do make sense though Hush is his first film it's not his first production Kevin is also a playwright and in the past has written and produced sold-out stage shows for the movie it was something that I've always wanted to I've always wanted to write a screenplay and so I decided that this is what I was going to do and so I forced myself to sit down and make the time. It was tough because I have my family, I have two daughters, and um, I'm married, I've been married for eight, almost eight years now. And so uh, luckily, I, my wife, is, she understands the passion, so she really, really has been very, very supportive for over the last three months. So I was able to write and put everything together. Though he wants people to enjoy the finished product, he says his ultimate goal is to spread the gospel message through the big screen. As a person, I would love if people would walk away saying that Kevin Cameron is playing his part in the grand scheme of evangelizing, that he is not sitting back with the gospel of Jesus Christ, that he's sharing it in a, not necessarily a new way, but maybe a new, a new way for um, Christian filmmakers in our area. And while he hopes viewers will understand the moral of the story, Kevin also says he's learned an important lesson. God has revealed his, his self to me in this process so much that I, it's like I, I didn't think God was capable of blessing in such a short period of time that now I realize that God is really all-powerful mm -hmm. and I, he, he can do anything and, and I can't try to understand or try to put God or put limits on God. He's not putting any limits on himself either. He's already got a few ideas for future projects. I have an idea about a documentary. Uh, I have an idea about a comedy. Um, and I have another idea about a drama. Hush has already made it onto big screens in the greater Toronto area and is now available on DVD. To find out more about the film, visit crossroads.ca and click on guest information. In Toronto, Ontario, I'm Bridget Entry for 100 Huntley Street.